I show you a couple of new things that just came in. We just got Super Strike in, and we got our first delivery of the redhead and uh, white Little Neck Poppers, and the blue head. I'll show you both of those. Brand new from Super Strike. You know, uh, he announced these at the beginning of the year when he came out with his new price sheet, and um, we ordered all the new colors, and he sort of like, I guess he overestimated what he could make, and he discontinued a couple colors, not discontinued, but he put them off. Stuff like uh, white gold, the herring, um, these two were put off. A couple of the colors, like translucent yellow, those were all put off for a little while, but um, we ordered them, you know, a while back, and he started to ship them. So again, here's the redhead white. This is a, uh, this is the six, uh, PP60. You can see it's got the single hook on the back. This is the lighter, and it's a floating. You can see the green eye. And then we've also got, uh, this is the heavier one, the PP6W, and you can see the blue head, and it's got the uh, the treble on the back. So the lighter one has a single hook. The uh, the heavier one has the, uh, um, the treble on the back. So that's brand new. You can go to jnh.com and check them out. We're, they're still in pre-order mode. I haven't changed that. Um, I was talking with one of the guys that worked today at the shop with uh, Kyle about uh, possibly changing the name of pre-order. I know we've talked about it in the past. And I was thinking of maybe we'll change it to like fire mode or something like that where you guys know that, you know, it's just a hot product. It's on back order. You, you know, if you want to get in on it, you should order it because it's going to be a limited supply once it comes in. You know, these are, these are going to be things like uh, tsunami shield, spinning reels, uh, any of the super strike stuff. You know, any of the newer stuff that's just super red hot, you know, they, the manufacturers all nowadays are all um, coming in with less than they used to, so it's not like they have these big abundances. Uh, they'd rather be uh, out of it than have, you know, too much stock, and then you have a bomb, and then what do you do? You gotta sell it off and all that kind of stuff. So I get that from a manufacturing standpoint. Um, so you sort of just have to recognize that, and one of the things we're doing is, is doing this pre-order mode, but I think we're gonna change it. Right now it's looking like we're gonna call it fire mode. Um, and you know we'll we'll put an icon, a little fire icon, where it says you know where it usually says in stock or available. We'll put a say fire mode. We'll have a little icon you can click on and give you the details of that, saying about how how that works. But basically, you can order it. You're just putting your name on the list. You're not paying for it, um, and we'll charge you once they come in. So these are still in that mode, which is technically right now still pre-order mode. So if you order these, uh, they will ship out in the next day or so. You know, you'll get, you'll put your order through. You won't get charged. We'll see the order. We'll charge your card or your PayPal and send these out to you. So right now we have them in the uh, PP uh, PP60 and PP6W little neck poppers. All right. So if you're looking for those, those are in stock right now. Again, this is going up on YouTube. So depending on when you see this, they may not be in stock. So. Um, if you have questions, you can always email me, josh at jnh.com, to check on them. Or again, you're not going to pay for them until they come in. You're basically just putting your name on a list. So, you know, it's worth it to do that because, again, you can cancel at any time and you don't have to worry about it. The other thing I brought home today was this. I wanted to show you guys this. This is the Accurate Boss Valiant uh, 400 two speed VV2 400. And normally they're available in silver and red. Uh, we recently got a shipment of silver and blue. But for a while, we've wanted the all black, you know, the uh, the Darth Vader, Batman style, all black, because it just looks so much better than um, than the silver red, you know. Just it just looks super cool, you know. You know, the, the black and white. You can see all the writing is white, and um, it just looks so cool in this this monochrome color. It's just so much better. So if you're looking for an accurate Boss Valiant, and maybe you didn't like the uh, the silver and red, you know, a lot of guys don't like red because it just doesn't go with the rods. You know, a lot more anglers are getting more conscious about the looks of their gear. They want colors to match and all that kind of stuff. And you know, some people that's what they're into, that's what they love, and that's fine. Other people think it's silly, they don't care. So if you're a guy who cares and you want something that looks as cool as it performs, this in black is uh, is pretty much you know, the hotness. I mean, super awesome, it's top of the line reel. Um, you know, if you're not familiar with the BV2 400 or, or the Accurate Boss Valiants, um, basically this this version of this reel is literally a third lighter than the previous generation. So if you were thinking, if you've ever seen like a BX, or in this case a BX2, if you were sort of holding them side by side, you would, every single time you would choose this because internally it's the exact same reel as a BX2, Boss Extreme 2-speed, but a third lighter. So 
you know, it's this is like a no-brainer if you're looking for that high-end jigging, bottom fishing, versatile reel. Um, you want to go catch tuna and stuff like that. Uh, mahi mahi, you know, any of that kind of stuff. Grouper snapper, that kind of thing. This is um, legit awesome reel. So it's very cool. Um, other news that's going on is we've started adding more and more brands. So uh, the things we've started add, we've we we now sell sims. So we've started to put sims up on the website. There's going to be more to come. It's just a long process to get all this stuff up on the site. Um, we put our first order in. We're going to get our, sh our first shipment in a couple of days. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's new. We just got in, uh, or we're getting in Dobbins rods. Uh, those are going to be up on the website, hopefully by the end of the weekend. So every single Dobbins rod will be up there. You can read about them, check them out. They're really cool. Uh, really great freshwater rods. We've added Mega Bass, so we're going to be doing a lot with them. Um, we've put in a big order with Mega Bass. This is, a, if you're not familiar with them, they're a like a high-end freshwater lure manufacturer. Now they're coming out with rods, and I've seen some of their rods uh, down at Bassmaster Classic, and they are they are legit, like awesome high-end, you know, freshwater bass and that kind of stuff rods. So uh, if that's your game and that's what you like, uh, Mega Bass is something to look forward to. And again, that's all going to be up on the website um, soon. That's going to trickle on. It's just we ordered a lot of stuff, or we're bringing in a lot of stuff from a lot of SKUs. So it just takes time to get it all up there. But if you're local, we'll make an announcement once it comes in, and you can come to the shop and check it out. We did just get in all of the Daiwa Yamamoto Nico baits. Um, that was another announcement at Bassmaster Classic. Uh, they come in 10 colors. You've got a Nico Fat 5 inch, and then you've got the Nico Straight in 5.8 inches and 6.5 inches. You know, 10 different colors to choose from. So if you're looking for, you know, if you're finesse fishing with those, you know, style worms, um, it's basically Daiwa and Yamamoto came together to create, you know, just a, just a great, a really effective bait. I know people have already been fishing them and they've just been crushing the fish. So. Um, it's definitely something you should pick up a pack. Either come into J and H or, or go on jnh.com. You can see them. Uh, I just put them up now. I've got to get better images for them. So the next next couple of days I'll have better images so you can get a clear look at them. But they're they're really well made, really nice. So that's going to be cool. Um, what other brands did we just add? We added a couple more brands. Oh, Wind Grips. We're adding them. Really, uh, they make like um, they make all the you know uh, rod parts, which is not the stuff we're going to be bringing in. Uh, I mean, we'll have access to it if it's something that you want a special order, but um, they make like um, like tape that goes around the butt and the foregrip, almost like you would with a tennis racket where you go, you'd buy a you'd buy a wrap and it would give you uh, more grip and you could, um, you know, and then you wear it out, you throw it out, you get a new one. So it's like that. And they, I think they originally started with um, with tennis grips, but now they have all, you know, cool camel patterns and they have fish on them and all cool kind of stuff. So um something to uh, to check out that's going to be up once we get them in so again that's about a week away and uh the other one we're signing up with is live target um which is a, another cool brand they sort of fit um in between you know the high end and then the you know i guess they're like a mid-range in terms of prices and all that kind of stuff um that's going to be very cool i know their frogs are very popular i was talking with tim today he works in the shop he loves their frogs and uh, we're going to be getting in swim baits and all that other kind of stuff. The other cool thing is is we're actually, we just cut a deal with a company called Fringe Tackle. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Fringe Tackle, but this is, um, they make just super, super nice um, soft plastics. They make a 5 inch and a 7 inch. And um, it's it's a freshwater bait or a freshwater uh, soft bait, sort of plastic, whatever you want to call it. Um, or hollow body swim bait, I guess is what they call it. Um, but we asked about the seven inch and he's actually making us a saltwater version. So if you're a saltwater fisherman and you use shads and all that kind of stuff, this thing is going to be like the nicest one you've ever seen. So they're gonna be they're gonna be expensive, they're not cheap. Um, but you know, if you've if you've seen like the new Hoagie um paddle tails, um, I mean they sell for I think like eight to ten dollars. So this is gonna be somewhere around there, maybe a little bit more. But uh, the quality is going to be just amazing. So if you're if you're into that and you like high end stuff and you like something a bit different, something unique, something that's going to give you a competitive advantage, uh, Fringe Tackle is definitely the way to go. And like I said, we're going to have that sometime next week. I'll put pictures up and we'll put those up on the website. And that saltwater bait is going to be exclu exclusive to us, which is very cool. Uh, I like that kind of stuff. I like bringing you guys new and different kinds of stuff, uh, things you can't find anywhere else or things you might have difficulty finding. Um, 
again, if you're ever looking for something and you don't see it on our website on jnh.com or you come to the shop and don't see it, just ask me about it. I'm happy to look into it for you. You know, we don't know everything that's out there. There's a million different companies, especially with these uh, little manufacturers, where it's usually just like an individual who's basically like, you know, an artist and their form of art is some sort of fishing um, equipment, whether it's uh, swim baits, wooden fishing lure, you know, wooden plugs, uh, surf plugs, that kind of stuff, or, or they do their own soft plastics. Like, we don't know all those guys from all over the country. Um, so if that's something that you're looking for and you want a source for that, you know, just email me, josh at jnh.com, or leave a comment on a YouTube video, and I'll be happy to look into it for you. You know, whenever guys ask questions on YouTube or if they email me, I answer every single one, um, and I try to do it as, as quickly as I can. So, again, uh, you know, always reach out to me because I, I love that kind of stuff. I love looking into new stuff, finding new brands. And uh, some of them, some of them we like, some of them we don't like. You know, we can't take in everything. But if it's something that's like highly specialized, uh, super high quality, that's that's not something you know we pass up on. I mean, that's probably why we're so big into accurate. You know, we love brands that make you know super high quality stuff. Again, you know, same thing, uh, same thing with Super Strike. You know, you can't, um, you, you know, you just can't beat it. Uh, someone's asking me, I guess you guys have started asking me questions, which is great. Someone's asking about a, um, if I think the Tsunami Shield is the best $100 reel. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, the way I look at it is that you have a, you know several different reels in that $100 range. And to name a few, so you've got the Shield, you've got the Nasky from Shimano, you've got the BG from Daiwa, and then you've got the Battle 2 so, you know, from Penn. So... It, they're all kind of different reels, you know. The BG is like overbuilt, huge gear, lasts a long time, very powerful. The Nasky is more of like an, uh, like a, I consider it like an inshore reel, even though the other ones are inshore reels. More of like you know a lightweight composite inshore reel that has Shimano components in it, um, or features in it that from higher end reels, but is is still a hundred dollar reel. Um, the Battle Two is sort of like a, you know, like uh, they, you know they sell zillions of every year guys tend to like those and then the shield is what's cool about the shield is that it's the basically the same thing as a spin fisher or even a little bit better than the spin fisher because whatever issues the spin fisher had the shield kind of solved those in a hundred dollar package so depending on what you're looking for you know if you're looking for power go with the bg if you're looking for um you know preventing failure from salt water if you're getting splashed a lot um, or maybe you're just, you know, you're getting, it's just, you know, when you're out on water, you're, the water, the air is salt, you know, has salt in it, just the way it is. So, um, if that's sort of where you're pushing, then, then yes, the shield is, is a great option. So I don't think there's one that's just better than the other. Um, I think they're all different. Um, and you know, any, any of those four will do you well. Uh, you know, I, I, what I see is we sell a ton of BGs. We absolutely do. And we sell a ton of shields. So, you know, either one is great. Um, I know I know the designers from of both the shield and the BG. I know them both quite well. And um, both guys do, do an amazing job. So I wouldn't I wouldn't hesitate to, to go with either one. You know, if you want if you want that waterproof, if you want the shield, do it up. If you want more power. Uh, a little bit smoother, you know, bigger gear, go with the BG. Uh, someone else is asking what my favorite brand of mono is. I don't really have a favorite brand of mono. I think um, things have evolved over time. You know, it used to be Andy, and I think that what's interesting about that company, uh, if you if you look at the history of it, is, is that when Braid came out, they didn't see it. They didn't see it coming. You know, they, they didn't make the decision like, you know, Andy, we're the world's leader in monofilament, monofilament, which they were at the time. And then Braid comes out and they were like, ah, that's never going to catch on. And then, of course, Braid, you know, just took over the market. Andy really never adjusted to it. But people still love Andy because it's, you know, what they fish with when they kids. All these charter boats still use it because it's reliable and it's a great mono. In the store, we sell a lot more nowadays of Daiwa Pro Spec. It's just a higher end mono. Uh, it's a little bit thinner. So that's, that's a great choice. Um, the other one we sell a lot of is just, you know, anything from a Moy, whether it's high catch or diamond, you know, especially for the offshore guys, you know, when you're filling up uh, 30s and 50s and 70s and 80s and that kind of stuff, most of those guys are going with diamond. They seem to like that line, you know, uh, you know, married with, uh, with some Jerry Brown. Uh, so 
you know, depending on what you're doing, again, I don't really have a favorite mono. I fish a lot more braid. I sell a lot more braid. It's just more, you know, it's just the way it is. And then we sell, you know, like Andy leader material, which is good. Or, um, you know, but most guys I think now are fishing fluorocarbon. I mean, you know, Seaguar Blue Label or the Yozuri stuff. Well, you know, all of it's very good. Now, uh, someone else is asking when the Shield 6000s are going to be in stock. Okay, so... The 3000s and the 4000s are supposed to be in pretty soon, like within the next week. The 5000s and 6000s are supposed to be a couple of weeks later. So you got to kind of take that with a grain of salt because this is all coming in. It's being air freighted into the country, but then it, sometimes it gets caught up in customs. And then, you know, who knows what happens. It sits in a warehouse or maybe it gets to the warehouse at a certain time. They don't get it out that day. So I would say everything's going to be in stock by the end of April. But... Um, you know, the 3,000 and 4,000 is going to be sooner. If you don't have your pre-order in for that, you should. Again, this is this is another product that's in that pre-order mode, which we're going to call fire mode, or maybe we'll come up with something else, but I think we're going to call it fire mode, where you can pre-order your shield reel now. You don't pay for it until it comes in, and then you can cancel at any time. Um, someone's asking if the 6,000 is the biggest one they're going to make. I don't know. I think so. I think at this point, at least for the next year or so, that's going to be the biggest one they're going to make. You know, once you go above a 6,000, the sales kind of drop off. It's just not as popular. You know, you, you know, little three, four, five, and six are going to be your most popular sizes, um, just because of, of the way the markets go and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you guys have any other questions for me, let me know. Um, and that's basically it. So, with with Freshwater, we're trying to bring in more stuff. We're getting more into that, bringing in new stuff for you guys. Um, so hopefully, you know, if you're a J&H customer, now you can get stuff that, uh, you know, maybe you're getting it somewhere else from us. You know, we're really trying to push hard to get people, like, you know, not to shop at Dick's and to use a mom and pop shop like us. Or, you know, if there's another mom and pop shop by you, I'd rather see you shop there. If you're not going to shop at J&H, I'd rather see you shop there than, than at, a, um, at a place like Dick's or... You know, getting stuff at Walmart and all that kind of stuff. Um, someone's asking how the Tsunami Slow Pitch Jigging Rods are. They're awesome. If you want a $100 rod, there's probably nothing better on the market. You know, the Tsunami just continues to bring products into the market that are, um, you know, and pricing them at less than what they should be. I mean, that's easily a $200 rod. It really is. Uh, the fact that they're selling it for 100 is just uh, sort of nuts. But that's what they do. That's their... That's their thing. They cater to a certain market, which is that you know that hundred dollars to one hundred fifty dollars, and even, even actually I should say zero to one hundred fifty dollars. You know that's sort of their core market, and it always has been because they they want to bring stuff in for the masses. You know they just came out with those uh, platinum Maxell platinum jigging rods, which is also a tsunami. Um, you know these are rods that normally go for five six hundred dollars, and and. Um, you know, people spend crazy amounts of money on them, and they're selling them for two hundred and thirty dollars, something like that. So, it's it's just the the technology has reached a point where they can produce those rods at a great price. Um, all of their rods, you know, over the whole gamut. So, um, I think if if you're looking to buy a rod, you, you can't go wrong with a tsunami. They make really nice stuff, uh, especially if you're in the Northeast and Florida, or you know, the Gulf Coast. They are um, they design rods specifically for those two areas of the country, and that doesn't mean that you can't use them other places. I mean, if you're on the West Coast and you want that slow pitch rod, the seven six is like a perfect yellowtail rod. You know, pair it up with um, a smaller version of this. You know, the, like a BV three hundred if you want to do a really nice combo. Um, so it's a uh, that's a really nice way to go. Uh, someone's asking if I'm going to do a video for the Forged. Absolutely, I'm going to do a video for the Forged. I'm a fan of that reel. That's an interesting product. I've, I've talked about it before, but what's interesting about that is that's one of those reels where, okay, now Tsunami is starting to make a higher-end reel. You're looking at a $180 reel. They've never done that before. They've never done a lever drag reel like that before. Um, so you look at it, and either you're a Tsunami fan, and you sort of know how great their stuff is, and you go, this is great, I want it, or you're like an Avid guy, and you're like, well, why would I buy this when I can get an Avid? And for that Forge, all the all the great things about it are really on the inside. I mean, yes, it's got a one-piece aluminum frame, and they did uh, different things with the coatings on it so that it's going to be more scratch resistance, but it's not like an outward thing where you know, the average person can just look at it and go like, oh, you know, yeah, that is that is awesome. You know, you really need someone like me 
uh, to tell you, hey, you know why this is great? Because of X, Y, and Z. So I'm a big fan of the, of the Forge. I think it's going to be uh, sort of a sleeper hit. You know, it's one of those reels. I mean, I saw it originally at iCast, and I wasn't impressed with it at all. Uh, but I was looking at a prototype, and you never really know how far along they are with prototypes, but obviously they weren't that far along. But the finished product turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And um, it's a really nice reel. You know, it's specifically designed, again, it's a Northeast-style reel. If you're bottom fishing, jigging, bucktailing, that kind of stuff, you know, in the bay or in the ocean, it's perfect. You know, it holds more than enough line for that kind of stuff. It's got enough power, more than enough power. And the internals in that reel are actually the same quality as you'd find in a max L jigging reel. So, you know, it, it's, it's one of those reels that I think once people learn about, and find out more information about and start using that it's going to be, um, you know, real that people are going to gravitate gravitate to and, and buy because it's uh, it's good stuff. Tsunami makes good stuff. You know, it's a shame that their website's so bad and that they don't really push um, from a marketing standpoint. You know, they haven't even touched the West Coast at all uh, just because they haven't had that reach, that desire to reach out there because of just a bunch of issues. But I think that if they got their act together in those areas they could sort of do you know be a national brand you know be a brand where you know guys in california and oregon and washington that whole coast are buying stuff and then you know they've already got the northeast kind of locked up uh, and they do do a lot in florida but i mean they could really capture the company because the guys who design for them do do an amazing job they really do uh, they're good people i'm very friendly with them so if you're ever thinking of getting a product you really can't go wrong with a tsunami so anyway, that's it for tonight. I just wanted to introduce those, introduce those things to you. So go to jnh.com, check out the BV2400 in black. We also have the 500 and the 500 narrow two speeds in black and the BV300 in black. So that's really cool. And then the Super Strikes, you can order them now in, um, this is PP6W and PP6O. We have both of them in blue head white and red head white. And um, you should add them to your collection if you're a surf angler all right so that's it guys thank you very much for tuning in again if you need to uh reach me josh at jnh.com you can call me at the shop post a comment on a youtube video you know we're everywhere on social media at you know at jnh tackle and i will be more than happy to um to answer all your questions someone's asking if we have any specials now um i really can't go over them on this video there are stuff we, we're actually doing an in-store promotion on april 22nd which is a saturday pure fishing um, we're going to do some cool stuff and we're going to announce that in the next couple of days. I'm just getting all the sales and promotions together. But if you're looking for specials or you have questions, just email me, josh at jnh.com, and I'll be happy to, uh, you know, you can tell me sort of what you're interested in and I can sort of let you know what we have and to, to give you sort of a deal depending on what we, uh, what we have going on at the time. All right. So that's it. Again, thank you guys for tuning in and we'll do this again real soon. Take it easy.